Hey, how you doing? I'm Andy Seymour. I spent the last 20 years of my life trying to make the world a safer place to drink by teaching bartenders all over the world about cocktails and spirits and doing things the right way. We're here in New York in the East Village on the Bowery, heading up to see our friend Naren Young at Saxon and Parole. Inside, Naren's up to some unbelievable stuff. He's making cocktails out of vegetables in here. What's happening there? How's it going? Good to see you. You too. So we're going behind the drink. We want to check out this bell pepper cocktail that you're doing. You know, when we first opened uh, about a year and a half ago, our focus was heavily on savory drinks and, you know, taking a lot of cues from the kitchen, which I think has been a big movement. So we use a lot of fresh vegetables, fresh herbs, salts, vinegars, chilies, um, you know, a lot of these kind of things you might more likely see. Uh, in food as opposed to cocktails. I don't think you don't see a lot of this going on in other bars. Is that kind of something you were trying to get to with this program? I just want you know people to you know think about ingredients in different ways that maybe they haven't before. So you might see things like bell pepper, red and yellow, cucumber, celery, carrots, beets. And I'm always thinking about where is this hitting your tongue? Where is it? What are you feeling? Is it on the sides, the back, the front? Hopefully, a great cocktail should be all of those. Well. This is a lot of great talking, but I, I've noticed we're not drinking yet, so maybe we could do something about that. Yeah. I wanted a tequila cocktail to start, so we use a nice Blanco tequila from the Highlands, nice and spicy. So to add a nice smoky element, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, mezcal, and then a little bit of chartreuse, which is a, a really rich kind of herbal liqueur from France. Um, pretty easy to get, and it's this, this yellow version has a really nice kind of honeyed, almost floral kind of sweetness to it. And then how do we balance that out and how do we make the drink a little bit more interesting? That's where the kind of idea of these other ingredients came in. So we have fresh yellow bell pepper juice. Mm -hmm. So we squeeze here in house every day. So it adds a really nice kind of vegetal savory quality. You know, bell peppers, chilies, and kind of jalapeno, they work so beautifully with agave spirits. So that was a nice foundation which I knew would work. Want a little bit of spice, so we take it like a high proof vodka uh, and we infuse it. Here we use some dry Thai chilies. Uh, you could use jalapenos if you wanted some smokiness, you could use chipotles, you know, all sorts. You know, the, the world is your oyster in terms of what you could put in there, but this is what we use. Do you, do you want lots of spice or lots of flavor, a little bit of both? I think just a very subtle amount of spice is what you're after. I think it's important that it doesn't overpower the palate, which can do. Think of this like bartender's salt and pepper, you know, so just a little drop will go a long way. Then we have some fresh lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, which will just balance out that, that citrus note. So the Bowery Fix also has some citrus salt. And we garnish it with this uh, chili oil. So this is essentially uh, olive oil with crushed red pepper flakes. So it takes on a little bit of heat, but this is more there just for the beauty of the drink. And, you know, we drop it on top, looks a bit like a Jackson Pollock kind of painting and people dig it. All right, let's give this a try. I mean, just the aromas. It, you've got so much freshness coming out, a little bit of the hints of the, of the spice and the smoke. Man, that is delicious. The vegetal notes from the pepper, Smoke from the mezcal, you get the heat from the pepper, but it's not overpowering at all. Mm -hmm. Citrus kind of smooths it all out. You get that little bit of sweetness. I mean, to me, with a cocktail, you want balance, you want texture, and I've got perfect balance and tons of texture. Right. I mean, to me, that's a great big bag of delicious right there. Awesome. You know, there's all these different things that have come together, and hopefully you can just taste little small pieces of them on different parts of your palate. That's the whole idea behind the Bowery Fix. Thank you, Naren. So if you're here in New York, you gotta come on down to Saxon and Parole and try this drink. If you're not in New York, maybe you should just try this one. What do you say? Get in there. Yeah. That's good. All right, so don't forget to click subscribe so you can come back and check out all the amazing cocktails that are going on here in New York as we go behind the drink. We'll see you next time. Brits like their toast like we like our commenters. Salty.
See why we wouldn't eat Marmite ever again. Forget Klondike, you can choco your own dang tacos. Learn how on Dude Food. This cradle robber ambushes his lady with a gourmet meal. Find out if we cooked up a hookup. Lucky Charms? Check. Nutella? Check. Banana? Sure. Why not? Make this recipe because it's a real cereal killer. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.